Well, I can and I will, and I could, so I did. Like the sunshine, now I'm wrong so quick, yeah, yeah. I think my biggest influence is um, probably my dad's old jazz records. Um, my dad plays in like a Dixie band. So we didn't have like cool music in the house, we had like. Dixie's cool? Well, Dixie wasn't cool when I was little, though. I didn't think it was cool. Right. But I think it's cool now. <laughs> Well, I started playing piano at seven at a Catholic girls' school. And, and loved it. <laughs> and yeah, I've still got a thing for girls in skirts, I think. Uh, by a nun, Sister Alvarez. And every time I looked at my hands, she used to smack my fingers. So I always used to play by ear and by feel and not by music. So uh, I don't play much piano anymore, funnily enough. We've been doing this for about, coming on four years now. We met back at uni, um, yeah, about four years ago, and just decided to see what would happen if we combined our magical powers. I kind of had an idea about Farmer Pimp, about trying to find this magical female singer and um, met Claire and I'd, um, we already kind of had an idea about a violinist and started producing some songs in the bedroom and it had certain instrumentation and part of that was upright bass and Claire really wanted some upright bass for her solo stuff so I started kind of deciding to learn upright bass. It's like old school jazz mixed with technology and... Technology, we have the technology. <laughs> Shuts out, watch your eyes betray. Try a bit of metal thrown in? Yeah, there's definitely, I grew up playing metal and there's definitely hip hop. Bit of sweet. Bit that's of sweet it. music, that's yeah, probably yeah. the best way to describe it. It's nice not kind of having a generic kind of sound, which has kind of been tough for us as well because. If we do certain things, they don't quite know where to put us. It's just we're not trying to do anything in particular. We're just doing um, what we all dig. I think in the long run it's, it's good for us because it means that we hopefully never get boring and we need to get bored ourselves. This time, don't you bring me back. I released our EP about, when was that, six, a year ago? Almost. Almost a year ago, um, uh, which was a real sort of collective effort. Um, a lot of songs are being recorded at, at different places, some at Mark's studio and some at Cog. The album will be able to make kind of a yeah, conserved effort to spend maybe six months, get it a little bit neater and a bit more where we're at. It's still going to be eclectic because that's what the final kind of buzz is. Personally, I feel like music, you can create a song from anything, like you can just record a bird and music can, you can always pull something out of it. This time, don't you bring me back, I